If a washing machine won't spin or agitate, it's possible the appliance's drive motor or stator has failed. To help determine this, you can use a multimeter to test the drive motor or stator windings for electrical continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the windings. For both direct drive and non-direct drive top load washers, the stator or drive motor will be located directly below the outer tub. To access the component, you will need to remove the washer's front panel or cabinet, or tip the appliance back on its rear panel. For non-direct drive front load washers, the drive motor will be located near the rear of the outer tub near the bottom. For direct drive front load models, the stator assembly will be attached to the rear of the outer tub. To reach these components, you will need to remove the washer's rear panel. Be sure to unplug the appliance's power cord before beginning any disassembly. Most non-direct drive motors have a cover that will need to be removed. When testing a stator, you will need to remove the rotor first then uninstall the stator. Once you've accessed the motor or stator, disconnect the wire harness connector or wires. Referring to the appliance's wiring diagram, identify the appropriate terminals or pins for the windings you're testing and the appropriate resistance of those windings. Rotate the multimeter's range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Now contact the black and red meter leads to the appropriate terminals or pins for the winding you're testing. The multimeter display should show a resistance rating within the range designated in the wiring diagram. If the resistance rating is not within the appropriate range, you'll know the motor or stator is faulty and will need to be replaced.